Um, 52 points this uh, this past weekend. Leg got a lot of work. Kickoffs, punts, and uh, and you know field goals. And talk about just the win. Yeah, I mean, it's funny when you talk about the win, you know, our stadium kind of swirls in there. I actually kicked one of the field goals towards the end of the game, and I looked up, and the big American flag was blowing this way, and the other flags were blowing the opposite way, so they were blowing directly into each other. So it's one of those things, you know, you kind of have to factor in. We, we kind of pick out spots and warm-ups to see how much the ball will move and see where it'll go. So we kind of have the things set in pregame. You know, you don't want to overanalyze it too much because then you'll mishit it, but... With our offense being so high powered, you know, I'm going to score points with, with PATs and all that. And then you throw a field goal or two in there and it's going to, it's going to rise really quickly. How, uh, how much of the win do you take into account? I mean, kickoffs, punts, all those field goals, all those are different kicks. How, how much of those play, you know, the win playing differently in, in each kick? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it, it can play a big factor. You know, wind can be behind you on a kickoff or it can knock the ball down. Same thing with the punt. When you're dropping it, it can move the ball when you drop it. So there's a lot of things you have to factor in, a lot of little critiques that you can mess with on your technique and stuff to help you out. You hit some long ones uh, this week, uh, I think a 41-yarder. Uh, you got a punt down on the one-yard line. Your touchbacks are second to none. What, what's, the best, what's the best feeling for you as a kicker? Um, you know, putting points on the board is always a good feeling. You know, our offense stalls out, and it, it's nice to be there to help them out. You know, they, they've done all that work to get to that point of the field, and I want them to believe in me that I'm going to go out there and put those points if they can't get a touchdown in. But at the same time, you know, punting and kickoffs are a joy. You know, we, we love going down there, running down the field, making a big play. And just like you said, that punt down inside the one, Kyle Hale made a great play. It was a tremendous effort by him, and the rest of the guys rallied to the ball. And, I mean, that, that ended up being a big play for us because, you know, two plays later we turned the ball over and we ended up scoring. So you think about that, it, it changes the whole aspect of the game at that moment. Do you, I mean, a quarterback's got his receivers. They're kind of a team. Do you feel like your gunners, I mean, the Kyle Hales and, and some of those guys that are going down there, are you, you feel a little bit like the same, the same role as a quarterback and a receiver in that deal? Yeah, we do. You know, I mean, we have those set guys on special teams, and Kyle Hale has been a great, great aspect for us. He plays on all special teams, and we've got other guys. I mean, Hedgepeth, May, all those guys, uh, Larry Stevens, all our gunners on kickoffs, Charlie Moore, a bunch of guys. You know, they all go down there. They want to make plays. They're, they're, they're running head hunting, you know, and it, it's been a great year for us, and we've, we've come together as a team on those units. You take care of Kyle on something like that. You know, you, you get him a, an extra, you know, little burger or something like that. Yeah, I, I've taken care of him a couple of times, you know, for something like that, you know, making a big tackle or, you know, just like you said, that effort play, and it, it was such a, big, such a big momentum swing for us, and that, that was huge at that time. Uh, you guys end up winning by five. I mean, in, end up winning the game by seven. Field goals obviously playing a key role in that. I mean, what's it feel like to know on this end that, that, you know, looking back retrospectively, those kicks were really, I mean, potentially the difference in the game? Yeah, it was. You know, at the time I didn't really look at it like that. It was just like, you know, you're putting more points on the board. But after the game, you know, you look back at it and you throw in that two-point conversion and a missed field goal, and that's five points right there. So the game could have been a lot different situation if we would have missed one kick or if we wouldn't have got a two-point conversion. could have been a whole different ball game, just like you said. You put any extra pressure on yourself knowing that that could happen, or do you just try to clear your mind and kick it as if it's 0-0? Zero, zero? What's your mindset walking out there? I mean, you know, there's going to be pressure. That's just the nature. It's, it's, human, it's human nature, just like you said. Um, but it's one of those things, you know, you have to try to clear your mind. You don't, you don't want to overanalyze it. You don't want to put too much pressure on yourself, but you can't help it. You know, there's 60,000 fans. It's end of the game. You know, the season's on the line. All your goals, all your aspirations, there's a lot, there's a lot into it, and that, uh, that all factors in. Yeah, OSU, you know, in the last few years has become a program where kickers are kind of, you know, year in and year out, whether it's a punter, a kicker, Bailey, Fodge, those guys, um, you, you kind of get a little pedigree there. What's it feel like to kind of do it all, but also kind of continue that pedigree right now? Yeah, you know, it's been nice with Fodge and Dan. Both of them won awards. They've both done a very tremendous job here in their years, and Dan's excelling in the NFL right now. But like you said, I know I've enjoyed doing all three this season. It's been fun. You know, it, it's we take a sense of pride in it. You know, we we've always been in the top five in the nation in special teams overall the last couple of years. So going into the season, you know, we set goals for ourselves too on percentages, on where we want to be at, on averages, and what kickoffs are. So it, it's definitely like you said, we take pride in it, and we look at like striving for excellence. You and Bailey uh, have any conversations throughout the the year? I mean, are you guys texting back and forth? 
Yeah, we still all stay in touch. You know, we, we all wish each other good luck. And, you know, I, he's had a great season, just like I said. And it's been good watching him and having having that just, you know, that communication, you know, Fodge and all those guys. It's, it's all we, we've, we've kept in touch. You know, teammates, just that's how it is. Um, if you had enough punts, you would be leading the nation in, in, uh, in kicks. Are you trying to get the offense to, you know, get you a couple more? I mean, leading the nation in punts and the way you're scoring right now? I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, last year, the same thing happened. I missed it by one punt, so there's not much you can do. I mean, it's just like I said, you know, it, it's an added bonus to be on that award list. You know, I, I greatly appreciate it, and it would be awesome to win one of those awards, but, you know, I, I've handled my duties, and I've performed for my team on the field, and that's what brings satisfaction to me. You know, as long as I'm performing and helping my team out at the time, then it's a good thing, but it, just the bonus at the end of the year would be nice. All right, thank you, sir.